Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your Lenovo ID about S340 or what you actually can upgrade on it. Of course we're gonna have a closer look on the components and obviously you're gonna see how you can open up this uh, laptop as well. First things first, uh, you need a little special screwdriver for that. It's called Torx T5. I have a kind of a set there, 57 in one, so it's very useful for other jobs as well. I'm gonna leave the link in description so you can go and purchase that yourself. They're cheap enough and as I said, they're very good. And uh, that's not the only screwdriver we need. We need uh, later on, we need Philips screwdriver as well. That's of course, if you're planning to upgrade your solid state drive. I'm just showing you the screw here, just the size of it. They're all same size, so you don't have to keep them separate from each other. Sometimes they are kind of a different length, so you have to keep them separately and you have to remember where you took them out. Not this time, they're all same size, so go ahead and remove all of them and you're ready to lift the back panel. Back panel comes off easy enough. I actually have to say, I have kind of a plastic tool there for that. It's super easy with that. If you don't have it, use either a credit card or something similar. I don't recommend using uh, anything made out of metal, knife or screwdriver. It will probably do the job, but you also have a risk of damaging your laptop or even worse, damage yourself maybe. So do take care. It takes you only a minute or two minutes. God knows it's fast enough anyway and take good care now taking it off it is kind of stuck there in the corners but just gently pull it out and should be good enough okay back panel seems to be coming off easy enough now it's off now just a full spec or full model number there for you i'm gonna leave that in description as well s340 15 api it is and the inner look of the panel as well, just in case, I don't know, maybe you're looking for spare part or something like that. We have a bunch of good news, it is upgradable, so, well, actually, probably more than I thought. We're gonna go to some uh, components now, that's the battery with the serial number on it, if you're looking for the same one. That's your battery connection, of course. And uh, funny enough, there's a 2.5 inch hard drive bay there, unused at the moment, it's empty, so you can put your solid state drive there, or whatever you have, maybe normal hard drive. I don't recommend that for the operating system, though it's a bit slower than this solid state drive there now. At the moment, there's 256 gigabyte in it, and we're gonna replace that with one terabyte drive just in a few minutes now. That's your Wi-Fi card, of course. That's your serial number as well, if you're looking for the same one. Or well, just for reference anyway, that's your CPU. Under that, of course. And that's your CPU fan. And under that is the RAM, of course. Uh, there's a 4 gigabyte of RAM on the board and this is another 4 gigabyte. So at the moment there's 8 gigabyte in total. And we're gonna upgrade that to 16 gigabytes in a minute. So in total this laptop will have 20 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM. There's a closer look now on components as well. Your battery connection again, your keyboard connection there as well. And that's your 2.5 inch archery bay, it's empty. I'm not gonna touch that, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. But for yourself, if you have an extra drive there, why not for additional space? That's your Wi-Fi card, of course. And that's your TC connection there, which is not soldered to motherboard, so it's easy to swap if it's broken. That's your CPU fan. Okay. I think we are nearly ready to upgrade all you have to do now is disconnect the battery 
just not to short anything on motherboard while removing the RAM or solid state drive. For safety, I left it clo uh, I left it uh, connected times there, so nothing happened either. But I do recommend disconnected if you can. And that's your RAM. What's in it at the moment? Four gigabyte. And as I mentioned before, four, four gigs on the board as well. So in total, at the moment, there was eight gigs. I'm gonna swap that to 16 gigs, so in total we're gonna have 20 gigs. Great news I suppose, sadly only one upgradable bay, but still good enough. And also for the RAM I'm gonna leave the links in the description, so if you're looking for the same one, it's just gonna be so much easier for you to find. And we're ready for solid state drive upgrade. It's kind of a smaller form solid state drive, but don't panic, don't worry. We're gonna install normal size kind of a solid state drive there okay that's the Philips screwdriver now as I said before actual size there as well it can be a bit smaller a bit bigger it shouldn't make difference it will still work so I just left it there for reference kind of a size as well and one screw is all what's holding it in the place That's it. As I said before, 256 gigabyte, best in digital drive. Not too bad, I suppose. Just uh, I would be nicer to have a bit more storage space. So that's why I'm gonna put one terabyte in it. And that's Samsung now 970 Evo Plus. Pretty good drives. Also, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. So it's gonna be handy for you to find. Or if you if it's not available, I'm gonna leave link for very similar drive maybe even faster so we'll see later and that's the closer look now on the drive itself okay slide that just nicely in there and the same screw what you removed before will go back in and that's it we're done with upgrading as i said great news upgradable so I'm quite happy actually with that and if you just wait for a minute we're gonna boot into Windows and I'm gonna show you the specs as well after upgrade of course and just to don't forget you have to install Windows again if you swap solid state drive you will have to reinstall Windows or clone or whatever but it needs to be installed again okay we're ready to put the back panel back again oh sorry we, I think we left something out there. A little cover for DDR RAM. That's the one, yes. That will go back in and we can put the back panel back and close it up again. Okay, that's it. I promise you now. Put the back panel back and the screws back in and we're good to go and put into Windows. Obviously for you it's not going to be as fast and simple, you will have to reinstall Windows, there's plenty and plenty of different tutorials. It's easy enough, Windows installation these days probably takes you around 30 minutes, so it's fast enough. And we go back to our Torx 5 screwdriver. Yep, screws will go back in and we will boot into Windows just now, a few seconds. Okay, that's that now. Screws are back in. Okay, we'll go to Windows now. That's it, uh, I'm gonna open just the Explorer and go to my PC or this PC. Yeah, this PC and right click on it and just show you the RAM after upgrade. There you go, there's your model number, whatever that is. Uh, there you go, your CPU and of course 20 gigs of RAM in total. So we installed 16, 4 was on motherboard, so obviously there's 20 in total now. 17.9 usable at the moment. I'm gonna go to device manager as well just to 
show you a few specs of it as well. Just a kind of overview, that's all it is. There's your disk drive there. As, I, as you saw before, Samsung 970 EVO Plus, one terabyte. Display adapter, of course. Your CPU, and I'm gonna open up the network adapters as well, just to show you the Wi-Fi, what's on it. That's it, guys. I hope uh, it was helpful. And if you liked the video, if it was helpful, you press the thumbs up and subscribe. And you know what? Have a good life. Bye bye.